Hey everybody, and uh, good Tuesday evening. Still watching some showers that are trying to form here in northeast Montana and uh, uh, southeast Saskatchewan, starting to try and make their way into our neck of the woods. You can see kind of the bubbling cumulus. We call that agitated cumulus, uh, trying to form, form some uh, showers and thunderstorms. One looks like it's getting going maybe just to the southwest there of Watford City, uh, just south of Arnegard and uh, into the uh, uh, Badlands. But uh, there is the chance that we could see a few more showers and thunderstorms. They'll be mostly isolated tonight. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get a little bit because obviously the more rain, the better. And we haven't had a lot as of late. Uh, we do have a chance for severe weather down the line. It'll be Thursday and uh, Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk. There you go across most of the viewing area. So there will be a chance for rain, but it will also come with a chance for severe weather as well. Uh, skies will clear mostly tonight, and uh, we'll see temperatures dropping down into the 50s, a little warmer than where we've been. And tomorrow, we're warming up into the 80s, maybe even a few low 90s back towards the west. For example, Williston, I have 90 degrees for tomorrow. So Dickinson, three-day forecast, warmer tomorrow, uh, cooler with chances for storms on Thursday. And then uh, Friday will be a bit cooler as well. Uh, Williston, good chance for storms and cooler temperatures on Thursday. And then we'll warm up a little bit on Friday. But uh, really warm temperatures come back this weekend. You can see Minot will be pushing 90 degrees this weekend with dry conditions after that chance for rain on Thursday. And uh, Bismarck, same deal here. Maybe a few showers lingering Friday morning. But very warm temperatures this weekend. And then we'll be seeing uh, increased chances for rain early next week. So keep your fingers crossed. We could be looking at a warmer, wetter pattern on the way. And of course, that would be much uh, or very beneficial to many people out there. So that's what we got for you now. And uh, we'll continue to watch the radar for chances of rain and uh, see you at 9 and 10.